Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Peter with PeakDesignWorks.com. In this tutorial, you'll be learning how to create this using Adobe Illustrator. Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon so as not to miss any future updates. So let's get right into it. When you open your Illustrator software, so this is the interface that shows up. So what you do now is you come to this create new and click it to create a new artboard. So we are working with 1000 pixel by 1000 pixel since we are creating a logo design. So we'll click create since it's there already we just click create. Okay we are in now. So the first thing you should do is to check your view and check if your smart guide is clicked and your snap to pixel is turned on. So you just check for the two. If they are turned on, then we are set. Now to begin, we'll click on the polygon tool. To get the polygon tool, you come to the rectangle tool and click and hold down, and then select the polygon tool. So with the polygon tool, we are going to create a triangle. That's the shape we are going to start with. So to create a triangle, all you need to do is click on the artboard anywhere and select since the triangle has three sides you set you write three so if you want to create a pentagon you write five if you want to create an hexagon you write six like that so you can create virtually most shapes with this polygon tool so we click on ok and then but we don't want to use this shape like this let's scale it up a bit the exact shape I want to use is, I will edit this transform, so I will use 173 pixel here and 88 pixel, okay, so that is the shape I'm working with, I'll zoom in a bit, to zoom in and zoom out, you, you use, you hold on alt and then use your mouse wheel button to scroll up and down as I'm scrolling up like this. So if you want to move sideways, you hold on the space bar and then move to any direction you want. Very easy like that. So now I scroll in to see what I'm doing. We make this stroke three widths. Yeah, like this. We remove the fill. So now the next thing is to create copies of this triangle, smaller copies. So to copy a shape, you just hold Alt and drag it to the side while holding Shift. So that's Alt and Shift and shift it to the left side like this. So I want to make it like a smaller shape. So you just scale it down a bit like that and make sure they align together like that so I will create another copy in the other side just alt and shift as well like that let's try and bring this one left arrow key to shift move it and then right arrow key okay what we'll do now is we want to remove this lower bottom part but before we do that let's still reduce this a bit seems too big okay so now let's select everything and then we want to remove this part here. So to do that, we'll use the scissors tool. So to get the scissors tool, we'll come to the eraser tool, hold down and click on the scissors tool. So to remove any two parts, we'll click on the first point we want to remove, the beginning point, click and hold shift and click on the second part. And we've removed it like that. Just click on it and delete. Same here. So 
so we have the shape we are looking for so now next step is to create like a line in both sides at the left side and the right side so to do that click on the line segment tool you try and get make sure that's this uh, is smart guides like this that is showing so this line here is showing it's helping us that's what the smart guide is used for that's the importance of it so to get our line this is showing us the exact place we put the line so you click and hold and hold shift to create a straight line click it getting close to it you don't need to get, let it get close like that you use alt and shift and drag it to the other side like that so what we'll do now is click here click here right right click and then click join so to join them together same here click click right click and click join to join them together next we create like a ceiling on the left and right side so to do that we'll go to the shape tools again click on the rectangle tool so we'll come zoom in and then create like like a square we can create a square this time by holding on shift reduce the stroke no just swap to fill we are using the fill this time so select the ruler control r to get the ruler to measure the exact uh, uh, the exact point where the rectangle should be square i mean okay i think this is good So now we'll click on the direct selection tool to select we have to select this side hold shift click on this side and then move to the right while holding shift to maintain a straight line. Like that. I think this is good. Just use your eye to look at it. I think this is good I can move it to the left a bit so you do the same thing you do the same thing here just copy and reflect transform reflect it Okay, and shift it. Okay, I think it's looking good. So let's increase the stroke of these lines. It seems too small. So to do that, we select them and increase it to six. So adjust this as well. selection tool same with this and 
increase this a bit as well. Increase this to it's looking good. So next we we'll draw a line underneath this shape line segment so hold and drag all the way to the end okay i think this is good Next, we'll draw a window somewhere around there. So to do that, before we do that, we'll remove these lines within this triangle. Okay, use the shape builder tool, minus it, minus it. Oh, sorry. This and this. Okay, so to we click on the rectangle tool to create the window, do a simple rectangle like this. If you change it to swap to fill, use your ruler to make sure it's centered. Direct selection tool. Click this place, shift, click this place, and drag down. We have a simple window. Okay, now we'll use the line segment to create the window bars. Hold and shift down. Hold and shift like that. So increase the stroke. So three white increase the stroke of this to three or so white yeah I think it's cutting our window so now we'll select and remove the unwanted parts I think it's looking nice. So next, we'll, we'll put our text, the text we want to use for it. I'll be using the word real estate. So you can use any word you want. Real estate. Okay, capital letter. Real estate. And I'll be using a font called Aldri. So if you want to download it, you can download it from the description below. I've put the link there for you. So if you want, you can use any other font if you want. But I'll be using the Aldri free font. Aldri bold. Okay looking nice so we can use you can put another logo making making it say real estate logo beneath this real estate so to do that we'll cut off a middle part like this Use it a bit. okay select on them Select the real estate shape builder. 
minus this and minus this hold and shift to copy logo reduce it to this okay so we can make this regular can reduce this a bit I think it's looking nice So the last thing we'll do now is we'll try and expand everything if we can check let's check the outline mode control y we'll see that everything is in lines so and that's not what we want we want everything to be as a shape we have, want everything to be in shape form so to do that we have to expand all everything so that is the final thing we have to do in any design we are doing it's very important so to do that, all you need to do is click on each each of the things you want to do, like this. I'm selecting them, clicking Shift, then you go to Object, Expand, and OK. So if you check Outline Mode again, you see that now they are shapes, they are normal shapes, not lines. Okay. So you do that for the text to expand object expand and this object expand okay I think the window bars to object expand Control Y outline so okay you mean this object expand and we have them in shapes so now it's looking good so now we are done so if you have any question feel free to leave it in the comment section below and if you don't want to miss more content like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button and click on the notification bell as well. Thank you.